Okay, this is called obsolete. I am a time capsule, and when I am pried open by a hammer or a screwdriver or a random chair, kicked over by a wide-eyed preschooler, do not despair. I will not reveal your secrets for two reasons. One, you no longer have secrets. And two, therefore, I have been rendered obsolete. Today, or better yet, over the last decade at least, whatever can be maintained is saved in the cloud, covering like a thick, rancid sponge that has turned metallic, like mercury rolling in a pinball machine, blocking out the sun that was once our birthright. And this ball of waste, developed and exploited by so-called individuals who believe in free will, yet simultaneously afraid to unplug, is bigger than the largest waste dump in the world, which, you may know, takes up 2,200 square miles around, appropriately, appropriately, Las Vegas, Nevada, a pinprick of excess, debauchery, and dreams. And this cloudy waste, this gargantuan glob encapsulating every potent and trite overwrought conceit wants to dump its load. The biggest turd humankind has formed, randomly smacking many of us eight billion destructive creatures with a torpedo in hopes that we will awaken from the torpor and see the true beauty of the world, nature, ourselves. Wouldn't it be better if it just rained a watery mist, a sprinkle, a downpour, the water cycle pure and unmatched? So while I can't claim that there weren't poisons in my childhood, we did look at each other across the table. When it rained, we'd run to the door unencumbered, no umbrellas or rain jackets or rubber boots, no device, forgetful, just laughing, 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 sticking out our tongues, tasting the first April shower, and it felt, and we felt, holy and connected to everyone who had ever enjoyed the first warm day of spring. Thank you.